Now let's go a little deeper. Now suppose we have four intermediates like this and we have been again asked to arrange them in the rate of reaction y s n 1. So again we will do the same thing, we will draw the corresponding intermediate, the carbocation that will be formed in the RDS and then compare the relative stability, the order of stability will also be the order of rate of reaction. Now we have the living group same as in four, all the four cases, we have chlorine in all four of them. So chlorine will move out as Cl minus, chlorine being more electronegative leaving behind the plus charge on carbon. So if we do the same in these intermediates, we'll have correspondingly these carbocations produced in the RDS. Now here they are. Now based upon different effects, we'll have to decide upon their stability. Starting with resonance. Now resonance don't seem to be operating in any four of them because adjacent to the plus charge we don't have an electron rich side we don't have a lone pair we don't have a pi bond we don't have a negative charge so there will be no resonance in any four of them next we move down to hyperconjugation for hyperconjugation we look the number of alpha hydrogen more the number of alpha hydrogen more will be the transfer of electron from the sigma bond into the empty orbital more will be the stabilizing effect so if we count the number of alpha hydrogen in here we have two alpha hydrogen on both the sides so all together four similarly again you will have four again you will have four and again you will have four so hyperconjugating hy the extent of hyperconjugation in all the four cases are same so we don't get to the answer by hyperconjugating effect the next effect in the general order that we know resonance hyperconjugation and inductive effect but if you have any other effect known or operating in the circumstance definitely that would be more effective that will be more important than inductive effect because inductive effect as we have seen millions of times inductive effect is a weak effect we don't come down to inductive effect unless we have any other effect operating like hyper like hydrogen bonding like any other uh, torsional strain or angle strain or van der Waals strain those effects are more important than inductive effect so before jumping into inductive effect we'll consider a very important effect operating uh, in, in substrates like this which have rings they are angle strain now this height this if you look at the carbon and if you try to find out the hybridization of that carbon which is possessing that positive charge will know that that carbon is sp2 hybridized now the two bonds of carbon we can see this empty orbital because of plus charge and the third bond that is not uh, that hasn't been shown here that is with hydrogen now this is a general understanding in organic chemistry if you have a valency of any atom unfulfilled then that is fulfilled by hydrogen. It is our prerogative to show them or to not show them. Here we have a hydrogen and because of that carbon is making three sigma bond so the hybridization would be sp2, 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 sp2. Now the bond angle in sp2 is 120 degree. Actually it would be like this. Bond angle would be 120 degree. When you have a sp2 hybridized carbon all these three angles are 120 degree now because of making a three member ring what we have to do is you generally this, these two bonds because when it is at a uh, angle 120 degree then these two atoms would be very far apart the length of the distance between these two atoms will be greater than what generally is the length of one carbon carbon single bond so they have to come closer to mitigate that distance and and facilitate the formation of a next bond so this angle would be reduced drastically so what these two bonds were supposed to be at 120 degree to be at minimum repulsion state that if they come close together enough then the repulsion between these two bonds will be higher so that will account for unstability so if we have if we consider it as a regular three member ring then we know that in a regular three member ring the angle is 60 degree what it was ought to be was 120 degree now it has been compressed to 60 degree now that has been drastically reduced so the repulsion will also drastically increase so when the angle was supposed to be 120 degree it is now 60 degree only 
so the angle will be the angle strain will be very high in this if we the internal angle of a five member ring is 105 degree sorry 108 degree so the angle strain here is of 12 degree what was supposed to be 120 degree is now 108 degree so there is a strain of 12 degree here there's a strain of 60 degree now this is a four member ring if we consider it to be a regular four member ring then the angle will be 90 degree what was supposed to be 120 degree here it's 90 degree so the strain is of 30 degree now if we consider it as a regular six member ring then the internal angle of a regular six member ring is 120 degree what was supposed to be 120 is actually 120 so there's a strain of zero degree so based upon these strains will decide which is most stable considering there is a zero degree strain in six member ring this is most stable followed by 12 degree strain followed by 30 degree strain followed by 60 degree strain so based upon the strain the answer would be D is supposed to be most stable followed by B followed by C followed by A this will be the answer that will come out considering the angle strain on these rings so whenever you have a different rings always this factor will be very important and once we delve into reaction mechanisms when we s start uh, studying addition reactions then this factor will again come up so this you have to bear up in mind whenever you are dealing with different mem rings in uh, organic chemistry three member four member five member six member angle strain will always play an important role angle strain is an important factor much stronger factor that to be considered before inductive effect this is something you must know that will help us conceptualize things further so this will be the answer based upon angle strain Now, building up on what we have been studying, again we have been given three intermediates and again we have to judge the relative rate of reaction so again what we have to do is again we have to arrange them in the relative order of stability actually I have already drawn the intermediate actually there will be a living group once a living group moves out and then we will have this intermediate so considering we have been given the intermediate and uh, substrate and we have drawn this, these intermediates after living group have has left out so we are uh, we are left with three intermediates and we have to effectively arrange them or compare their relative stabilities now this is a cakewalk for us for all of us we know that here there is no high in resonance always the thinking would start from resonance if there's no resonance we come down to hyper conjugation now if answer does not is not been uh, answer doesn't come out or the extent of hyper conjugation is same S then we move on to other effects like hydrogen bonding like uh, van der Waal force of repulsion or attraction like angle strain like torsional strain like any other effect L electronegativity or size if we are not left with anything then we come down to inductive effect that is the last effect that is to be seen all right now starting with resonance do we have resonance here no do we have resonance here yes do we have resonance here yes so definitely B and C will be more stable than A because of resonance so this is a hunky dory situation for us now to find out the relative stability bit among between b and c we have to consider that we have to see if we are getting the answer with resonance if we are not getting the answer with resonance we have to come down to next effect in the order of precedency now resonance will give us the answer here because if you see the resonance the extent of resonance in both the intermediates are different here this plus charge is in conjugation this plus charge is in cross conjugation this plus charge will do resonance with this pi bond and this pi bond as well 
here this plus charge is also in cross conjugation because it is doing resonance from both the sides that situation is called cross conjugation now this plus charge is in cross conjugation it is doing resonance with one of the pi bonds same as in case of b but in case of c on the uh, left hand side this plus charge has a greater extent of resonance because there are two pi bonds in conjugation so this plus charge is going to be shared by four atoms alternatively this this and alternatively this so the charge on one of the carbon will be around 25 percent this plus charge is going to be shared by three atoms alternatively these three and effectively they are going to be around 33 percent can't say exactly 33 because the stability of all the rs will not be the same but somehow it will be shared among three here it will be shared among four that means technically to say the extent of resonance in c is greater than that of b that makes b more stable than that makes c more stable than b so the final order of what you will have is this this is how you will see ultimately this is what you have to see when you go for reactions then when we are full fledged studying different name reactions then this is what you have to see you have to judge the stability of different intermediates and that would help us decide which pathway the reaction will follow and ultimately what product we are going to get